Uh, Easter Bunny, days away, so we're, hmm, you get it, uh, hopping, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for playing along, with some uh, Easter dinner essentials <laughs> and entertaining uh, decor uh, stylist uh, Gregory Fass, good to have you back, thank Gregory. Thank you so much. Look at this table, yeah, this, is, this is amazing, and you're doing this for, for a reason. Yes. This type of table. So Easter and, and really any occasion, you know, as a host, we produce a bit of waste. Uh, so for this Easter, we're angling a little bit more of a sustainable or organic approach to our hosting duties. I, Easter, like, is the one, too, because there's so much plastic with all those plastic definitely, eggs. And then definitely. you're using them once, and then a lot of the time they're just going in the trash, yeah. or they get lost, or they get broken, or, yeah. or, or whatever. So take us through what you've set up here, Greg. Okay, so we got a few sustainable options here. So to start, I'm, I'm big on guest experience. So you want someone to walk in the door and feel that they're seen and appreciated. A really easy way to do that is to add some personalization. So uh, on our tablescape here, we've got these adorable chocolate bunnies that we've picked up from Walker's chocolate yeah and uh, Walker's chocolate is 100% sustainable cocoa so you know it's a really high quality product um, and then we've added name tags to those as our place setting for each guest so it's a fun detail to add to the table makes it a little bit more unique um, and guests can enjoy that and yeah we got we should, we should mention Walker's course. is just down the road too yeah like being, being a local chocolateer yeah, definitely it's, it's, it's great to great to support them absolutely uh, maybe at some point Annette can you can uh, enjoy your little yeah. bunny rabbit here before <laughs> before yeah. we well I got my own <laughs> So let's talk about our color palette a yeah. little bit. So, um, you know, there's a lot of colors that float around at Easter. We got green, pinks, blues, yellows, purples. Uh, so I like to pick one and sort of lean into that. So we've done a beautiful green linen tablecloth. Yeah. And then with our centerpieces, rather than, you know, cut florals that have a short shelf life, uh, we moved into potted herbs. So I have beautiful sage and rosemary the, the and mint here. Well, the smells that you're getting from it's all of these It's great for too, your right? senses on your tablescape. And then we've done potted bulbs as well. So uh, these are things that are going to keep providing for you. The herbs can sit on your countertop and you can use them for cooking for weeks, months. They can be then potted into the garden and you can enjoy them all summer. Same with the bulbs. They'll come up next year if you throw them in your garden. So these are things that are going to keep producing for you. And I love the look. It's so much texture and lushness, especially with the terracotta pots, really brings that outdoors in. Can we talk about the eggs? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm moving away this year from artificial dyes and coloring and glues and stickers and plastics. So um, I'm opting for au natural on our eggs. So uh, different eggs are produced by different types of chicken. So you can get ones that are speckled. You can even get ones that have a little bit of a blue tone or pink tone. Uh, so I have our classic brown and white here. And then I've added in some quail eggs as well. Um, and this is a fun detail to add into your tablescape. It's a great gift to send guests home with as well. Um, or they can go into your fridge and you can enjoy those for, you know, the next couple weeks to <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about what about the plates? Uh, so I love mixing old and new. So uh, we have our bunnykins dishes here. This is yeah. uh, from my own personal set. Is it really? It, yes. No way. How long how long you had these you for? Know, I, I from I was a baby, and then I picked some up at the thrift store. I have some that are old as like 1920. Get out! Uh, wow. So I like mixing old and new, and a really easy, affordable, and sustainable way to dress up something new or something you've purchased secondhand. It's sort of um, rentals like charger plates, glassware, yeah. cutlery. So this is from Special Event Rentals in Burlington. Is we've it? taken okay. our Bunnykins dishes and then we've added in these rental items to dress them up and sort of bring it to this day and age. Right, I apologize for my hairy yeah. hands that are in there too because uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. That's, that, 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 that's, never, that's never a good thing. But have fun with it too, Yes. right? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Is it time to eat the chocolate yet? Yeah. <laughs> you want your chocolate? Is one for you? You got one, one? I got one for you, one for Nat. Oh, Tansy, yeah, producer yeah, Tansy yeah. gets one. Oh, you could have producer Tansy. I just want to come nice. Is this hollow or is it? Uh... It's solid. Oh, so it's you, you're gonna, oh, let's gonna, see, work through this. I just got the ears off. Yeah. Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> I'll eat you throughout the day. I'll bring over yours over a touch to you, uh, Annette. All right, Gregory Fast. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Thank you. Great ideas, man. Cheers. Thank we'll hook so this up with our website, cnchstage.com slash morning live. Yeah.